potatoes, potatoes, waru, whatever you call them. And I know it's pretty much everyone's favorite. Today we are going to be making some delicious mashed Hey there, I'm Lorraine from Beyond the Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. Lots of love to you. Mwah. So today we are going to be making some delicious mashed potatoes. Now, I am a diehard fan of potatoes, potatoes, waru, whatever you call them. And I know it's pretty much everyone's favorite. So let's gather ingredients and get started Fine. so we have thinly diced potatoes about a quarter cup of warm milk parmesan cheese salt three cloves of garlic butter and bacon let's boil our potatoes i heat your pan in goes our potatoes The garlic is the secret ingredient. Salt. Make sure you salt the potatoes and add water. And then you want to boil until tender. Now, let's simmer for about. 10 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. While our potatoes are simmering, let us cook our bacon. Da -da -da. So I'm going to be cooking these in the air fryer for about five minutes for them to be nice and crispy. Then you'll see what we'll do with it at the end of the video. So in it goes. Let's have that cooking for about five minutes. Our bacon looks done. Let's get it out. So it's been five minutes and our potatoes look done. So let's train it. So we want to let this to cool off for about five minutes before we can add our parmesan milk and butter so by all means if you have a potato masher use that but if you don't have like myself use your wooden stick or an alternative so you see how nice and creamy that looks and what you want to do next is to you know because you want to add a little bit more creaminess to it add your warm milk and have it cook on low heat for about five minutes so I'm not a huge fan of milk so just a little bit add in your butter it's just one and let's have this cook under low heat Mash. Mm. And so cook that all up. See how nice and creamy this looks. Cannot wait to dig into it. Turn off the heat and add your parmesan. If you don't have parmesan, you can use like mozzarella or any other cheese of your choice. And mix that. And your mash is basically ready for plating. Look at that. Look at that. And then let's add butter. Now, as always, let's have a taste test. Mmm. Having that butter. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Try it out and let me know how it turns out. Until next time, happy cooking. Bye.